Hot off the facts. We finally have a full detailed statement from TB3 survivor Catherine. Oh, great. Anything of note? No big bombshells. One weird detail, though. She mentions that he always left a light on for her at night. Daddy, I'm scared. Of what, sweetie? I hear monsters at night, in the house, and in the garage sometimes. You know what? I am just the thing. Well, there you go. One anti-monster nightlight to keep you safe. <clears throat> but I'll tell you a secret, Betty. You don't have to be afraid of any monster. Do you know why? Because you and I are much scarier than any monster. Agent Cooper? We've had TBK's profile wrong this entire time. We always assumed he was a loner, a drifter, leaving a trail of bodies in his wake, but what if he has a family he goes home to? What if he's a father? Very few serial killers have families. My dad did. Let's broaden the search to include fathers, ones who travel for work, with a specific focus on ones who have daughters. On it. Okay. Archie? Betty, Jughead just texted me. He's got the books. Okay. Oh, Mr. Mantle, how did the egg go over? I think you can probably guess. Oh. Something funky's going on. I give you a book, and suddenly I can't read? I call Veronica a black widow, and then the egg I gave her is filled with spiders, even though when I checked it, it was empty. What are you? A wizard. I mean, I have a trick or two up my sleeve. I... I'm a, a magic man, you might say. Your magic? Is that something you could teach me? Oh, I'm sure we can work something out. <laughs>